Hi everyone and welcome to week 33. The re-drum device has been really popular with users ever since its introduction, and that's been partly because of its old school drum machine style sequencing. Some people have been asking if there was a way to actually trigger the sounds of the new Kong drum designer using the re-drum. And it is possible. It involves a little bit of routing and packing it into a combinator. And I'm going to show that to you this week. Since the re-drum has 10 channels and the Kong has 16 pads, we are going to need to use two re-drum devices if we want to be able to sequence the entire Kong drum kit. Let's start out by creating two re-drum devices and a Kong making sure to hold down shift while creating them so they are not connected to anything in the mixer. Flip the rack around and have a look at the gate outputs of the redrum devices here. What we are going to do is connect the gate output of each redrum channel to its own gate input of each Kong pad. We will be using channels 1 through 10 on the first redrum to trigger the first 10 pads of the Kong, and channels 1 through 6 on the second one to trigger the last 6 pads. To make it really easy to know which Kong pad is being triggered by which redrum channel, I have created 16 very short samples of silence and loaded them onto each one of the redrum channels and have named them pads 1 through 16. Since we may want to use this setup any time when we want to sequence Kong drums in this way, I would probably pack this into a combinator with the Kong connected as the audio output. Select all three devices. Right click and select Combine. We will also set up one of the rotary knobs of this combinator so that we could select any of the patterns on both devices at the same time with just one knob. Click on the Show Programmer button on the combinator and select Redrum 1 on the left hand side. Click off Receive Notes so that we do not trigger this redrum by playing any notes on a keyboard but would only trigger the Kong pads if we wanted to add some fills by playing them manually. We are going to do the same thing for Redrum 2. On the right hand side under Modulation Routing, choose Selected Pattern as the target and set the minimum to zero and max to the last pattern that you created. Remember that 31 on the max value is actually pattern number 32 since the value is offset by a negative one. Select Redrum 2 on the left hand side and follow the same exact procedure. Next, label Rotary 1 as Pattern Select, and now that one knob will select the same patterns for both Redrum devices. If you want, you could set up other knobs or buttons to control other parameters of either the Kong or the redrums. Maybe you'd like to use the combinator buttons as pad mute groups. And now you can sequence all 16 pads of the Kong using the redrum sequencers. If you wanted to record some pattern automation changes, 
You could either use the rotary knob that is assigned to pattern select, or you could either record or draw the automation of a pattern change on a sequencer track for the first redrum, and then just copy the automation to a second redrum on its own sequencer track. I have uploaded this combinator patch with the empty samples at this link, and you can download it and either use it or have a look at it to see how you can customize it. Well, that's it for another week. Again, I'm James Bernard for Propellerhead Software, and I will see you all next week with another tip. Bye-bye.